Over the past year, I've traveled all over the world and to people's homes to learn how rabbits are viewed in other cultures and cared for in various households, but most importantly, to teach and create awareness about rabbit welfare. This time, my stop is in London, England, the land of the tea and crumpets, kings and queens, fish and chips, where I'll be conducting a house rabbit makeover for a family that desperately needs help with their recently adopted bunny. done this in like a different country. I think her name is Mala Malaya and I believe she's 12. She's had two rabbits that have died. No, I think you need to look them up. Like there has to be a reason why it's happening. Like, yeah. but not, but not be, not be uh, like judgmental about it. Cause yeah. it does happen. Cause like yeah. it happens to everyone. I mean, it's not supposed to. I know I do need to look into it. Well, how many minutes away do you think we're at? I think we're like seven minutes away. I think we're arriving now. We're like doing this on the train, not in a car. It's so different from what I usually do. It's cold, guys. <laughs> it's cold. We're not in LA, that's for sure. called me or texted me. Did she receive your message? Maybe we should call her from your phone. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Hi. Okay, I guess I don't have to call you. Uh, Malaya, right? Yeah. Lorelai said, we're not in London anymore. And I was like, no, this is London. Yeah, it's just the outskirts. Yeah. <laughs> I love it though, because I feel like I'm getting to see like the real, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. real like non-cosmopolitan. No okay. Yes, exactly. Have like the non-touristy part. Yeah. I've never been to the UK. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome. Thank you. Malay has been excited as well. She kept telling the RSPCA, but we've got a rabbit specialist coming. Like, we have to fight for this rabbit. A rabbit specialist? <laughs> specialist coming. They're like, what? Is that even have a job? <laughs> like to adopt a rabbit, there's like certain requirements that you need to have outdoors. Mm -hmm. um, so it's quite hard. We haven't got the outdoor run. Obviously, you'll help us. Well, hopefully, we'll get some help with that. I talk fast. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> but um, it, was, it was quite different in terms of what they expect for the rabbit and what they required. So it was quite hard getting. Um, this rabbit through this process, it's a lot easier to go to shops. So I know shops are not the best way, but it, that's why people probably make mistakes that way because you go to the shop, it's easier to get the rabbit. But when you adopt them from a shelter, um, there's a lot more things to go through, which is fine. So what do your brothers think about your uh, about Apollo, or your your rabbit? Um, um, they like him. I feel like I'm carrying like a baby in here or something. Lorelai, you're in London, you need to have tea. Oh, <laughs> that's true. I'll do water. Just because, <laughs> just because I'm a little dehydrated and I feel that's like tea's fine. not gonna cut it. Yeah, that's fine. But we should do tea later. Maybe when it's, when it's all said and done. Um, I saw your channel before I had a rabbit and I was like, this seems really interesting. Rabbit's quite cool. And then I was watching your channel for six months and like that mm -hmm. and then um this year i got my first rabbit for my birthday and yeah he died recently don't talk about death yet talk about how you felt about why don't you talk about the rabbit first so my first rabbit he was a netherland dwarf rabbit and he was cage aggressive mm -hmm. and then he went outside and then he died okay <laughs> So he died when you put him outside? Yeah, we don't know why. And then you got a second rabbit? Yeah. Um, he wasn't eating, so we called the vet and they said it was probably just stressing to leave him. So we covered, like just left the cage uncovered. And like eight hours after, he, he died. 
So when she said, when it was her birthday, I said, you know what, she's been wanting an animal for a long time. I've seen the way she cared for her fish, really good. Out of three of them, she was really good with the fish. Mm -hmm. So then we, when that one died, um, we moved on to hamster, like the, what's it called? Dwarf hamster. Dwarf hamster. And again, she, she was so good with her hamster, like, buying toys and take pictures of him, she was really good with the hamster. So as you're kind of developing up, because obviously we're leading to a dog. I wanted to interrupt you on that because okay. that's a huge misconception yeah. and such a common occurrence yeah, yeah. for parents to go out and get the kids a bunny, a hamster, yeah. whatever it is, because it's small yeah. and they think, oh, it's not as much work as a dog. This is going to be the practice animal. Yeah. And then that the rabbit dies or the rabbit gets dumped or, you know, abandoned because people are like, oh crap, this is actually like hard work. just as much work as a dog, right? He was happy outside, he was out there for six to, between six to eight weeks. And there's only one night, almost like this morning, how you probably felt how cold it was this morning. The temperature was like that, we went to the hutch, called the boys, so can you go and check the rabbit? And they're like, mom, we think it's died. So when I went to check on him, I could see that he was literally, just looked like he was, to me, looked like he was frozen. Not frozen in terms of any, um, oh not frozen in terms of any frost or anything, but just, because he was stiff, it's like they just looked stiff. My job is to come in here and it's to, to improve something and it, within that improvement I have to be critical. Uh, I know you obviously um, feel like you know she's ready for a third rabbit but I do you know I have concerns that the two other did die. I do find it interesting that I know that culturally in the UK, it's a little more acceptable to keep the rabbit outdoors. In the United States, in the rescue community, it's frowned upon to keep your rabbit outdoors. You keep your bunny outdoors and if a fox does antagonize the bunny, it can die of a heart attack. It doesn't even have to eat the bunny. It can just scare the bunny and kill it, you know? and. I know I'm cold when I go outside. Imagine a little creature this size that has skin that's like way thinner than yours. Yeah, they have they have coats, they have winter coats, but I think it's important to remember they're not wild. People get that confused a lot. Wild rabbits, they're completely fine outdoors because they've evolved to survive the cold winters and the hot summers. Domestic bunnies have been bred to depend on humans for their survival. Let's just say you drop the bunny off on the side of the road, it's not gonna know what to do. Yeah. It's not gonna know how to find food. It's not gonna know where to look for shelter. It's not gonna know how to evade predators. And that is one area where I highly disagree with the UK culture, because I've, I've seen it a lot, I've read about it a lot. But in the United States, it's much more common to keep the bunny inside. You said the first rabbit, you went out, you looked at it, it looked frozen, it looked dead. I think that's self-explanatory, yeah, yeah. right? And then the second bunny, we don't know what happened. I mean, I can't tell you because I wasn't there and I'm not a vet, but the fact that you said it stopped eating, that's, that's a clear sign of GI stasis. Again, I don't want you to be offended, but this is a living being and I've traveled very far to come here. I want you to keep up those practices. I don't want to just come in here, fix everything, and then I find out that you're still keeping the bunny outdoors. You know what I mean? I know you're making a commitment to this rabbit and I know you want to prove to your mom and everyone that you can actually make it work and so I'm going to put my trust in you and we're gonna try and make this work. Let's meet the bunny and show me everything. Show me the hutch. My mate that built it. Your granddad built this? Yeah. Why? Yeah, this isn't something we can easily pick up and throw in the dumpster. Yeah. Home. <laughs> can we set it on fire? Show me the rest of the other cage. Okay. That's really small, just so you know. <laughs> Hi, Apollo. Hi, he's 
a chinchilla rabbit. Yeah, chinchilla colored rabbit. I know my rabbits. I was gonna say I thought they like cabbage, but no. No, that's a misconception. Yeah. He's very. Cute. I feel like you're like you're learning so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like now you're gonna go get a bunny. <laughs> I'm learning how hard it is. I'm like, oh god. Thank you. Look at that. Oh wow, that's that's fancy. <laughs> it's like gourmet style. <laughs> this is his first. Uh, Fix. Yes, <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting him hooked. I'm his dealer. He loves it. He <laughs> loves it. Kind of just sit down at his level, you know, pull out a little piece of fruit, and you know, just feed yeah. him. Right. You can also. It doesn't have to be fruit. You can feed him lettuce. You know, just as when you're hand feeding, that's yeah. when you're able to like bond. Right. He's not a hundred percent socialized with humans. He's yeah, probably. He's been living in a cage for a yeah, long he didn't, time. Um, the Do you see this? <laughs> this is really bad. I know. That's very dangerous. I covered it. Yeah, I but clearly he was still like getting in there. Yeah. This rabbit cannot live in that hutch. That hutch needs to become extinct, defunct, dormant, retired. <laughs> I don't know what other synonyms I can use. Can we go let's play sometimes with us supervising him? Well, it's not gonna play. It doesn't play in the way that humans play. Okay. It's not gonna be like, oh, this is a cool hutch. I could I'm gonna play hide and seek with myself. Okay. The RSP says that that's one of the things we have to we do. We can't keep him otherwise. That's the difference. Yeah. We have to make sure he goes outside. Because they want pictures from they're gonna reassess the situation on Monday. They need pictures of the run. <laughs> they need pictures of him outside. outside. The requirement for us to get the rabbit was that we would allow him to have daily exercise outside to get to, to be able to get the grass. That's yeah. the only problem that we have in terms of. What is this? R okay, this <laughs> RSPCA in the US that is not a thing. Mm. That it's not a requirement to yeah, keep. If you adopt a bunny from a shelter. So I think this, it's good this international episode because obviously the issue that we had is that they said they want pictures on Monday of how the. Well, they're, not, they're not happy about the cage driver, but they want pictures of you know where he's going to be staying, his space, and the run basically, like somewhere that he can go outside. So. I need, to, I need to have a talk with the RSPC about this. This is not good. Are they open? Yes. So. What be they going? And then we're going to get shopping? Yeah, well, just, we gotta figure out what you need. So, like, you don't have a litter box. No. Okay, you don't have bedding. Bedding. We need to do what type of bedding you need. Like litter? No. Um, what is this hay, man? This is... That's, like, the only hay they have. so weird. It, <laughs> it looks, it looks like straw. Does the bunny have any toys or anything? We're gonna get buy him some of his own. We've got like some of the other ones. We just wash this. I think there's only two in there. He has one bowl. Do you just where do you feed his other food in? Just you just throw it on the ground. <laughs> or in the hay. Okay. So I mean we definitely need yeah. that. Probably need so we're gonna free run the bunny in this room. Yeah. Right? It's completely. So we Need to make sure those cords are protected. We can't throw out that hutch because it's too heavy. Yeah. But we can throw out this cage. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Your mom doesn't think it's heavy. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay. 
Oh, well, my main, my only main concern is just the fact that of the RSP and you, basically. It's yeah. like, oh gosh. Her heart is with you, but in terms of what the legality oh, of getting the pets, with, with your method, with your method, I should say. Yeah. Her heart's with no, you. No, I mean, I, I get what you're trying to say. Yeah, but it's like obviously I'm right and they're wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of hate comments about this. A lot of angry people like, what do you mean my <laughs> rabbit can't be outdoors? <laughs> But it's good um, to have, it's like, it's nice to hear how you've said it. Obviously we have cats, they don't go outside, do they? Just do it they the stay American indoors. way. We do everything better. No, I'm kidding. And I'm going to get hate comments for that, that too. too. I decided I wanted to visit the local RSPCA and find out for myself why they were telling Malaya and her mother their rabbit needed to live outside. Lorelai to tell yesterday, you. Yesterday, we only picked up the rabbit yesterday, and they were saying, "Yeah, you need to run the hutch. You need, you need to make sure you take pictures of the setup yeah. by Monday, and so he needs to make, he needs right? to make sure they're outside." You, they said to you guys that it needs to be. Yeah, it needs to have a run. I didn't. I don't have the sticky notes. Well, basically, they were just like, um, no, that's, that's, we don't know who told her that. Well, are they serious? Yeah. And no, they were, I'm not, I'm and not, they were no, just, no, just don't. <laughs> right? But they did say it depends on the rabbit. From what you went in there to see, did you, you still got, um, an understanding of what I said, basically? Well, a little bit. Because um, you didn't go in it there. It would have been, it would yeah. have been good to go in with them now that I think of it. We could still do it. I think we still it. could as well. I, I think we probably could. I mean, what the hell? Like, I'm <laughs> never coming it. back here again. So, like, maybe we should. Yeah. And, see, and just be like, oh, well, these are my friends that yeah, they were talking <laughs> about. And they were in the car with us. And they just wanted to ask you. Should we do it, Shoei? Oh, what question should we ask them? Shall just I? be like, hey, well, we can just say, hey, oh, this is my friend that I was talking about. She was waiting for me in the car. Yeah. And she just wanted to clarify because she got a bunny. You're just clarifying the information. Yeah. And personally, I want it clarified, too. Okay, let's just think, go. Yeah, let's just go. I feel like, you know what? We're going to make the most of this day. <laughs> wait, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, <laughs> do I come with the camera? No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, my God. That would be even no, worse. No, that would be great. I'm sorry. I just like, okay. The second time around, Malaya and her mother joined me so we could gain further clarification of the RSPCA's outdoor rabbit policy. The RSPCA ultimately states on its website that it is not against rabbits being kept inside the home, but that the decision should be based on the rabbit's temperament and previous lifestyle. They also state that keeping a rabbit indoors is relatively uncommon, a claim which is not proven and inaccurate with regards to the United States and other countries. The House Rabbit Society and American SPCA both state that the domestic bunny should live indoors. It's important to remember that rabbits used to live very short lifespans due to their vulnerability in cages outside. It wasn't until just around 30 years ago when the House Rabbit Society started introducing them as indoor pets that their lifespan was noted to last between 8 to 12 years. After speaking to Malaya's local RSPCA, it became clear to me what Sophia had been trying to explain all this time, that they did in fact believe Apollo should have access to the outside because he had previously been an outdoor rabbit, a belief that I found to be problematic. It's just my nerves. I have anxiety too, by the way. Well, I just, I didn't want to argue with them because like they're already set in their ways and I'm not going to change their mind. And it's not my job to educate the RSPCA. You know, like they have a system. And I, this little girl from LA is not just gonna go in there and be able to change that system in one visit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like very hypocritical that they're like, oh, they need access to like the grass on your lawn. But then the paper they give you says, don't give them lawn clippings. Yeah. And the reason for that is because when you mow your lawn, the lawn becomes um, infiltrated with gasoline. Giving the bunny like toxic grass. I could have just told her that. Why would I? Why? Because she's not gonna listen to me. Domestic bunnies don't need to like, don't need time to acclimate mm -hmm. to being inside. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Like, ah, so frustrating. 
seems like they have different, you know, sort of double standards for different <laughs> or different rabbits, yeah. Even though I was frustrated with the RSPCA's stance on outdoor rabbits, I don't want to give off the impression that I'm discrediting all the good charity work they do for bunnies and other animals, nor do I want to discourage people from adopting from them. In fact, I still strongly encourage adoption. This component is merely a commentary on what is likely a cultural difference and understanding of rabbit housing, and why I personally find this practice dangerous. Are you actually? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Do I not look 30? Do I look older? No, you look younger. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought you'd be like 25. Everyone says that. They always say 25. I'm like, oh, really? Just five years younger? Like, is that much of a difference? I was hoping you'd say I looked 18. But... That's a bit of a jump. After visiting the RSPCA, I decided it was finally time to embark on our shopping spree. Although trying to find all the bunny supplies we needed in a different country was more than a challenge for me. Let's just say, as a spoiled American, I was really starting to miss all the stores I normally have access to in the US. Marshalls and stuff would normally have all that, but there's no such store. Also, there's just less variety. Right. What, do they sell bowls for humans? Like, yeah. maybe, maybe you should do that. Alright, so this is our, our, our last store. Yes. Pray to the Lord. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just going to have to not have any electronics in your room. <laughs> Apparently, this is the British Home Depot. So I did have trouble finding certain bunny proofing supplies, thus ended up having to use some creative measures. And after hours of bouncing around to different places, I finally bit the bullet and went to a store I was initially avoiding, Pets at Home, the United Kingdom's largest pet supplies retailer. A controversial history, Pets at Home is also known for selling bunnies in their stores and in the past has been known to sometimes keep their animals in poor conditions. Pets at Home is where Malaya acquired her second bunny, a bunny that died the following day. Most recently, Pets at Home has come under fire from the RSPCA over their interactive play area with small animals, which has been known to cause bunnies stress. See this? It's a suitable for one small rabbit, and that is wrong because rabbits don't belong in hutches. Er. <laughs> oh, wow, that's gorgeous. I love that. This one's nice too, but this is the cheaper. Yeah. That's a good price. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Only a crazy rabbit lady would think a litter box is pretty. <laughs> What's in it? Wheat, flour, trash. Because you like take after your mom, probably. I don't know. I'm assuming. Like maybe, maybe probably awesome. my um fam, just my family. We were like R and B, but like I don't really listen to the modern ones like Lil Mosey, Lil Yachty. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, he likes his old school stuff definitely. He's yeah. Americanized. Kendrick. Drake, yeah, I like Drake. Yeah, I no, Kendrick. Kendrick. Like Kendrick. Kendrick's like, Kendrick's like the like best. Drake, Kendrick, Kendrick, and like... Yeah. Like, Joyner Lucas. I don't mind. Doing, but I'm talking about the... Mm, Are you into Post Malone? Like, Do you like Post Malone? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't really listen to him, but like, I just don't like Mumble Rappers. I like XXX and Tashin. though. That's what I'm saying. Of course you do. Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> like, Mumble Rappers. I like Mumble Rappers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the fact that I like know this stuff too, like practice my English accent with you all. 
Yes. Right. Actually, you're just you just that... need to say your T's um, and your P's, not. Um, you just need to pronounce all the letters and say it fluent. She's really good at So I that. should or shouldn't pronounce that? Should. should. I should. should. Yes. So I should, it should, I should like say shouldn't yes. more. Yes. Okay. And the funny thing is, your English accent is better than most of the <laughs> population of English people. You hear that, Steven Spielberg? Yeah. Hire me for your next film. <laughs> So just so you know, Small Pet right. Select is based in the US, but they also are based in the UK. Oh, they yeah. just opened up in the okay. UK. These toys. <laughs> Nutra Rescue, this okay. is if the bunny, Gets you know, needs yes. recovery. Yeah, look at that. You want to pull that out? Brush. What is that? <laughs> America's most loved rabbit brush. Oh. It's the hair buster. The heavy tip. I'm not gonna use that cage again. Like that can go away. Or the hutch. Or the hutch, no. Like, do you see the difference between the living conditions of that hutch versus how yeah. your room looks? How comfortable and warm he looks in his litter box? Yeah. You don't that. want to take that away from him. Yeah. I'm counting on you to keep everything stabilized, okay? Look out for GI stasis. I mean, you know exactly what to feed him now, how to set up the litter box. Yeah. And if he starts chewing things, bunny proof it. So thank you for saving him, for giving thank him a call. Thank you for coming and helping. Of course, it was so nice meeting you. I mean, doing this in the UK has been <laughs> quite the... Thank you. Of course. Oh, thank you. Oh, I might as well give you my <laughs> I have something to give you. You do? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ah! But I've given it. Here you go. <gasps> <laughs> it's a lot of English. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, this is like the perfect. Is there like English snacks? Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> this is exact. I remember <laughs> earlier I was like, do you have candy? Yeah. Oh my god. This is so cool. Thank you so, oh green tea, cause you know I love green tea. <laughs> she clearly watches my videos. Oh my God, amazing. Thank you. That's fine. Oh my God. Thank you. No one's giving me gifts before. You're shining again, so you know, and I know she'll look, I know she'll do really well to come to the rabbit, so. Thank you. 
Okay, you're welcome. And now for the long journey home. Hello. Yay. Meeting Malaya and her family taught me that sometimes all that people are missing are the tools. This experience truly moved me because I was reminded how many hearts Lennon and I have been able to reach, even across different continents. I'm touched that Apollo was rescued, and now hopefully with this orientation, we'll be able to live the life that he deserves. Well, Lennies, that's all for now. Until next time. Never thought I'd let you in. Was all alone inside my head But you took me where I hadn't been Always pushing me to go ahead